All right. Good deal. All right, here we go. So tonight, um, the reason we're holding this call, this quick little training, um, this is something that I believe uh, anyone that has ever built any size team in network marketing has probably struggled with this. Um, my team's not motivated. They're not doing anything. I don't know what to do. How do I motivate my team? How do I motivate people? Um, how do we get people moving? Has anyone ever struggled with that? I have. I sure have. You you see the vision, you know what you want, and you're trying to lead, and all of a sudden, you start leading, and you look behind, and you're like, well, where the hell is everybody at, right? You're like, I'm leading, but where's everybody at, right? So, um, let's see. Um, I have, let's see if I can get somebody off the screen. That way I can share my screen. Um, let's see. Yeah. Well, this is this white thing I was trying to say. It's, I'm, and I'm recording it. <clears throat> okay, cool. So, um, man, just all sorts of just. I'm going to bring some plastic noise over here and just. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, you know, three things that I wanted to cover on this topic because they're, they're very important. Um, you know, I've been in places where, you know, people are moving and then I've been in places where people are not moving. Um, a lot of times, um, you know, I, I had a coaching call today with one of, one of our clients and, you know, when you're building a team, especially if you have like a small team, mid-sized team, whatever you want to call it, a lot of times, especially if they've been around you for a little bit, going out and building another team is the best thing for that team. Okay. So that means, you know, like today, this lady had a, she had a, she has a team of 30 people. Okay. She's got a team of about 30 people and she's like, what do I need to do? What do I need to do to get these people motivated and inspired? One of the best things you can do is go out and build another team, go out, recruit 15 people, go out and, and start giving your time to your new team and, and go out there and, and bust your butt and go out there and do the thing to go get a new team. And a lot of times what you'll see is they'll start to get motivated by that new team, by the new people, because there's, there's rhythm there. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of momentum there. So that's one of the best things you can do. Now, um, one of the things I want to kind of cover is if you have a team, your job is to be that vision painter for them. Okay. One of the, one of the greatest skills that you can learn how to develop is when you're talking to people, learning how to create um, that vision. Because a lot of times, guys, you didn't see the vision when you first joined whatever, you know, when you first joined network marketing or when you first joined our network marketing team, um, you didn't necessarily see the vision. I didn't. You know, my vision was to earn an extra $200 to pay for gas for my motorcycle when I joined network marketing. It's a little different than you know, going for a goal that we have now is to hit over $30,000 a month. So things change. Now, it wasn't always me that said, hey, I just get it, right? And I want to make over $30,000 a month. You know, people along the way have helped me get there. So you have to be that person too. Be the person that can help pull the vision out of somebody. You know, if you have somebody that you believe is that can do a lot and they can really stretch themselves, um, be the person that can say, Hey, you know, um, what kind of house do you want? Or, you know, how many bedrooms does it have? Or, um, you know, what kind of car do you want? Or, you know, where, where's the next place you want to go on vacation? Or, or what do you really want your bank account to look like? What would you do with the money? You know, who would you help? Um, all these things, ask questions to kind of get this person thinking about what they really want to change in their life. You know, ask them questions like, how would it feel to be able to pay for your kid's college cash? Or how would it feel to be able to, you know, um, wake up to a residual check that's, you know, larger than the check you make on your job? I mean, um, ask questions like this and it will move people who actually see that, whoa, there is, maybe there is something out here that I can, that I can get to. You know, part of being able to do that for somebody else is doing it for yourself. If you haven't, gotten your vision out there if you haven't done a video and expressed to the world your vision if you haven't gotten your vision on paper if you don't have a vision board if you don't have your vision 
Um, you don't tell people about your vision. If you haven't told your spouse about your vision or your kids or whoever it is, it's going to be hard for you to, to develop a skill set of getting other people to their vision. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. You can let, just let me know in the chat or whatever. I think we can see everybody in the chat. But what I think I'm um, Okay, cool. So let me know if you have any questions in the chat um, about you know this this vision deal um, because you know I know a lot of you you've trained with us and you've been on with us and you know we want each and every one of you to be able to hit your goals and grow as people, grow as as entrepreneurs and business owners. But um, you know being able to craft your own vision will help you craft other people's vision, help them get to a place where you say, yo, this is, you can have that car, you can have that, that, that house, you can have that life, you can go on that vacation. A lot of people just don't believe in themselves. And you have to be the person to say, hey, I believe in you, you deserve it. You can do it. Because most people spend time, and this is nothing against anybody's spouse, but for the most part, most people spend the majority of the time with their spouse um, and their relationship may have kind of gotten dull, especially if they're not growing on the same level or they spend most of the time with at their job around people that aren't pushing them anywhere. So they spend 16 hours a day with someone that really isn't sharing their vision or pushing them or even telling them that they're worth it or telling them that they they can do something greater than what your second grade teacher said to do is just grow up and get a job. So be that person, be the person that, you know, says, Hey, you deserve it. Like you can do it. That's something that people, they'd never hear that. And if you're that person for them, they're never going to want to go away. You know what I mean? Like there, no one's going to want to go away from somebody that's like, Hey, like you're really awesome. You're, you, you, you can do it. You can, you can do amazing things. I believe in you. They're going to be like, uh, why would I ever quit this type of community? Because I'm at work for eight hours. I'm around, I may be sleeping with an enemy, not the enemy, but you know, um, but now all of a sudden you're the person that they can turn to and they say, yeah, I can get motivated. I can do this. So it's very important that, that, you know, I spent a little more time on that because um, um, it, it can be it can be very life changing not only for you but your uh, your team as well. So, does anybody have any questions around vision? Um, you feel free to unmute yourself if you have questions about this. If I sparked any thoughts or anything like that, but one of the, one of the most powerful ways you can inspire people is to help them craft their vision. All good? All good? Anybody have any questions? <clears throat> nope. All right, cool. Um, second thing that can really help your team get motivated if you're, when you're growing a team and when you're looking to get them motivated is um, having your mindset set on no one person, good or bad, is going to break, is going to make or break your business. Okay. Being um, in a place where you're not addicted to the outcome of having one person in your business if they get in or having one person in your business when they leave um, will keep you on a very, very even keel. It's where you want to stay. You don't want to get too emotional if one person doesn't join your business and you also don't want to get too crazy emotional if you know one person does join your business because you know this is a business. Um, if you treat it as such, there's, there's going to be rock stars that come in. There's going to be rock stars that leave. Um, getting to that place um, before you have a big team or as you're building that team will allow you to, um, to, to really become the person that can build a large organization. So understand that, you know, for the most part, guys, no one person is going to make or break your business. And that's very important to understand. Um, and the last thing is um, if you want to lead people, if you want people to move, you got to lead from the front. Okay. If you want other people to recruit, you got to recruit 150% more than them. 
that I mean, that's just the basis of it. People are gonna do, people are gonna do 150% of what you do wrong and 50% of what you do right. Okay, that's just how it works. So I know if I want people to recruit, I gotta, I gotta go out and recruit. I gotta go out and say, hey, look, it can be done. Okay. Um, in network marketing, it's one of those things where, you know, I know the, the dream of network marketing is to sponsor to, they sponsor to, they sponsor to, they sponsor to, and that's, that's the perfect world. But obviously that just, it, it doesn't happen. It, it just really doesn't happen. Um, you got to lead from the front. If you want people to recruit, you got to recruit. If you want people to show up to meetings, you got to show up to meetings. If you want people to get on the calls, you got to get on the calls. That's just, that's just how it works. And, um, you know, there is a time where in network marketing, if your organization grows so crazy um, that you may be able to kind of, you know, recruit your way out of existence where you're kind of no longer needed. Um, but the, the important thing is to understand that you got to lead from the front. And that's all I had after I'm done writing. I got this. I see. Does anybody have any questions on those three little things? I, know, I mean, it's, they're very simple. It's really simple stuff. But I think sometimes in the heat of the moment, your, you know, bullets are flying and, you know, babies are crying and all sorts of stuff. Babies are flying, bullets are, is it bullets are? I don't, I've never heard that in my life. So. People say that. People say that. I heard it. People say that a lot. People have you say, guys ever heard that? People say that. I know people. And Kevin has never heard that. <laughs> it's something that people say. It's just, man. You got to keep your ears to the street, Kevin. Well, are you throwing babies around and that bullets and stuff? <laughs> got to keep your ears. You got to keep your ears to the streets. Not a Canada thing, eh, either. <laughs> ears to the streets. That's a new one. <laughs> just got to say that. Right. I, I, I hear it. Anyway, um, so if no matter where you are, you know, um, if you do those three things, sure to have some progress in leading it. My thing is I never try to motivate. I just try to inspire. Motivating gets, it, it is exhausting. You know, um, motivating is exhausting. It is. Um, when you can switch that up and just look to inspire people, that's where you'll find yourself not only getting your results, but you'll be inspiring people to get their own results because they'll be inspired by your story, by your vision and by your tenacity. Good job. Thanks. He's a good coach, right guys? I wrote this. He probably stole it from somewhere. But... I did. Okay. ILT. <laughs> Still learn, teach. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was ILT. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that too. <laughs> okay, so um, I just had some things. I took a bunch of notes down throughout the day that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, just like a couple reminders first social media, we all know no negative, no bashing other companies, none of that because they have actually kicked a lot of people out of the company and they will not be allowed to return. So um, obviously I don't want that to happen to any of you. So make sure you're not doing any of that on social media. Um, first round of Inspire shirts are gone, but they're gonna have more at the event. Um, and then I don't know if you guys heard the call on Monday, but he just talked about like, don't talk about the opportunity and don't think of it as a sign up, like talk more about the movement and how, how big the movement is and how big it's going to be. Like, it's just going to continue to grow when we, you know, we're trying to sign up, link up, link up with, um, with Susan G. Coleman. <laughs> Look, I have a headache, like really bad headache, and I have like blurred vision, like I can't think. So anyways, that's my excuse. Anyway, so it's going to be like a huge movement, and um, so just really like lead with that, 
and um, share that with people instead of just talking about, you know, an opportunity, blah, blah, blah. Um, another thing, so we all know Friday night, midnight. What? She was looking at me like she wanted to um, eat my chocolate. Um, well, I think it's like 3, 3 in the morning for Eastern. Yeah. But um, the system's going down. We're not going to be able to add anyone else. So if you have anyone that's like, whatever, unsure or people that you can think of, just get them in before then. And then, um, but you guys can still build. So keep building your list. Um, I am not sure which applications we need to be using because my thoughts are if we're if the system's going back up March 1st then we need to have a full application with people's social and credit card but the app hasn't came out yet for that so um I'm I'm working on finding that out for you guys and then as soon as I do I'll post it in the message in the in the group but um just keep building like this not it's not over just because the system's getting shut down <clears throat> um and don't get discouraged like if you don't have as many people as you wanted to by Friday don't get discouraged because it's really like just the beginning like this is like we're just getting started you guys so and you're in like you're in a really 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 good position right now for already being in the system and having people under you before we even open the doors so just don't get discouraged like it's really just the beginning so yeah you're pretty much like in like the front of the line when the new iPhone drops. <laughs> like, yeah. Imagine like being, you know, like having a saved seat at the Apple store, but being at your house and not having to stand in line with stinky, smelly people. That's what this is like. Right. Um, so anyways, <laughs> Um, we are going to create a Facebook page for everybody, for all you guys, but we're not going to do it until after March 1st when we see who is actually in and serious about everything. Cause obviously we're not going to make it right now and then kick out a bunch of people on March 1st who don't actually join the company. So we will be. I keep getting asked, so that's why I'm just telling you guys we will create one, just not until then. Um, two more things I had for you. First one, tomorrow there's a big event in Charlotte, so if you're in Charlotte, get whoever you can there. Um, even if you can't make it, just let me know, and I'll meet up with them. And then um, in Atlanta, whoever is going to Atlanta, um, let me know and let me know how many people you're bringing because we want to have a dinner for you guys on Saturday night after the event. We're not paying for everybody. Just <laughs> putting that out there. But we do want to have a dinner with you guys. So um, I'll need to know how many people are going. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We haven't opened the doors yet. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, we do want to have a nice dinner. <laughs> Separate bills <laughs> for everyone. So I need to know who's all going, how many people on your team are going, just so we can find a spot that'll hold all of us. And. Well, where'd the chat go? <laughs> oh, okay. So a couple of questions about that weekend, and maybe you guys don't know, but it seems like that weekend keeps they every time every phone call, it seems like that weekend things keep changing. So uh, at first it was, you know, um, Friday night for the ladies' dinner, and then Saturday night, um, Saturday for the um, for the event. And then they added on something on Thursday. And then tonight they said there's something on Friday morning. Yeah. Like a, a workout. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. they also said something about registering for the event. So 
just getting the ticket how, how do you register because they haven't mentioned anything about registering yet and they said some people are already registering and that if you haven't registered that you should get down there and register on thursday and friday before saturday so usually when you go to an event like you have your ticket but you still have to register like you still have to get your badge and check in i'm assuming that's what they're talking about right and, um saturday is probably going to be like really busy so if you can get down there prior to do it that's that's just what they're talking about they said they were going to designate time i i guess at the convention center that you could go down and pre-register yeah, yeah. there's going to be a lot of people so they're probably going to be doing it by like last name yeah They'll probably let like you know a through f go at certain times and <laughs> just because you don't want to have or they'll just have like different times we'll see i mean i'm sure <laughs> what they'll try to post it in the events maybe yeah i'm sure they'll keep us posted over the next couple weeks but um yeah, usually they'll just have, like, they'll probably have some time to register Thursday night and then again on Friday, just so it's not like everybody all at once Saturday morning trying to do it before the event. Just kind of stagger it out. What about the uh, ladies' dinner on uh, Friday night? Are they supposed to register for that also? I am not sure, but I'll find out and let you guys know in the group. Let me write it down so I don't forget my question there is, which guy's going to drive us there and pick us off? <laughs> to the ladies there? <laughs> yeah. I we, mean, we the guys can just pay for us to get in a limo, I'm sure. <laughs> I see you're paying for us to take a limo and do what while you're having dinner? Not you and Ryan are paying for all of us ladies to get a limo. You guys are getting dinner. What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know what y'all are doing. <laughs> what are we going throwing babies at stinky, smoking women? Actually, I, I plan on going <laughs> throw a bunch of pads in the uh, whale pool to see how <laughs> see how quickly it'll soak up all the water. <laughs> <laughs> and record it and tell it as a video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose we'll be able to share that. Great. Check this video out. <laughs> Killed six beluga whales. <laughs> What's your pad done? <laughs> exactly. Give me your money. Oh, shit. <clears throat> you guys are getting foolish now. It's best mm -hmm. All right. Um, all right. Where are you staying? Where do you, where's everybody staying? Like all different places. There's yeah. a bunch of places around there. I mean, there's honestly every place. You don't have to necessarily place where the stay where the event is, um, just because you can walk everywhere around that around that block. Um, yeah, I think we're staying at uh, Indigo, and I can't really tell how far. It doesn't look like it's that far on the map, but. So, if anyone doesn't have a spot or is looking for roommates or whatever. Um, let me know so I can link you guys up because there's some people that don't have a room yet and you guys, a bunch of people can get like an Airbnb or <laughs> split a room or whatever. I mean, there's no reason why, you know, we can't figure something like that out. Oh, we have so. uh, and, and just, I, I think we've got two extra tickets. Yeah, we actually wound up getting two extra tickets. Because he got some and I got some. Yeah, we both went and did the thing and then we didn't realize that we both were getting two tickets, thinking the other one wasn't doing it. No, that's good because I made Ryan get two and I got two too, just because okay. I knew they were gonna be gone. Yeah. So if you guys, if anyone on here knows somebody that wants to go that doesn't have tickets, just get with one of us and um, tickets to the event in, in Atlanta, Katana. <laughs> What? Who are you doing that to? Me or Katana? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not the dinner. The um, the event on Saturday. Mm. So, um, Essie, you have some tickets too, right? 
Yeah, Essie has some extra tickets too. So we have a bunch for anyone that didn't get any. And they're free. Free 99. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Do you guys have any other questions, comments, suggestions? Forward to, to going. Me too. Yeah, and everyone that I haven't met, that we haven't met, I'm excited for all of us to get together. It's going to be a fun weekend for sure. So, yeah. All right, guys. Um, you're always welcome to reach out to us if you have any questions in between these calls. Anything that you need, just um, hit us up. Okay. Right, thank you. Cool. Thanks, guys. Be inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.